Hey guys, I just wanted to take a quick minute and show you an emergency repair that I'm about to perform on this Lennox unit. Uh, real quick, there is a uh, picture of our model number for those who are interested. This Lennox unit uses a 2051 uh, EMS communication board with an off-site energy management company. And what we had happen is our zone sensor, which I pulled off the wall downstairs, our zone sensor failed. It's a non-stock item, I don't have it. Uh, it'll be uh, probably about two days before I can get it shipped to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this thermostat I have over here, I'm going to wire it to our communication panel and then I'm gonna drop it down our return air vent. And that'll get them by for now. Um, now this particular energy management board has on one side of these relays, you see all the relays over here, on this side of the relay, we have a constant 24 volts, as you see right there. So, and real quick, this repair only works if that EMS board is operational. If that board has failed, there you can still bypass it and get them up and running in an emergency. You just go right to your 24 volt transformer, you hijack 24 volts, run it through a thermostat, uh, and then have the, um, the Y1 signal go through your high pressure, low pressure, and then over into your contactor, and then also to your indoor fan motor. Um, but that'll be another video for another day. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to wire up that thermostat. So I have a red wire hijacking the 24 volts off of this. And then it's going to go through the thermostat. And then because it's warm out, it's going to come back through the yellow Y1 wire. And it's going to land on this side of the relay, essentially closing this relay and kicking on our um, cooling circuit. Also, I'm gonna wire in a green wire to go up here to this side of the indoor blower motor. So this way we also obviously have an indoor blower motor as well whenever we have a call for cool. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna get that wired up and as soon as I am done, I will show you the final product. I got my temporary thermostat wired in place. I'm gonna drop it down my return vent and then we're gonna power this thing on. Keep in mind guys, this is just an emergency repair. This isn't something I do on the norm to get around actually fixing stuff. But one day this video could save a uh, long and drawn, drawn out phone call trying to explain to somebody how to do this over the phone. So. And also while you're doing this, make sure on the thermostat before you drop it down that if it's a programmable thermostat, you have it programmed properly. Make sure you have the fan continuously on so air is constantly circulating through that vent so that thermostat can sense it a little bit better. Um, and also what I did, I just popped the top of this. I ran my thermostat wire up through the unit. It really only takes five minutes rather than just leaving it on the outside and running it, you know, running it over top of the machine or under the machine or something. But I mean, only took a few minutes. So um, yeah, that's that's how we temporarily get a unit running that has this 2051 Lennox communication panel. All right, guys. So hope that helps somebody out there in the world. All right. Like and subscribe, guys. We'll see you on the next one.